Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. If you need a data for your research, I will provide customized data as per your research requirements. Contact me through email or WhatsApp. In this video, we will be discussing about modification indices. We will understand modification indices okay, and we will see some guidelines to use this modification indices for improving the model. First of all, what is this modification indices? Modification indices are statistical measures used to assess the potential improvement in the model fit by allowing for additional parameter estimates or model modification. They indicate the extent to which the model fit could be enhanced by making special changes or specific changes. Modification indices are statistical measures used to assess the potential improvement in the model fit by allowing for additional parameter estimates or model modification. They indicate the extent to which the model fit could be enhanced by making specific changes. Now when we draw a path model or when we draw a CFA model, if the model is not fit, then we need to improve the model using this modification indices concept. We can understand what changes can be done in the model so that the model can be improved. Now what I'll do is I'll take one example. I'll show you one model and we'll see the model fit of that model. Okay, if the model fit is not to the expected level, then we will see how to find the modification indices with the help of this modification indices, how to make changes in the model so that we get the required model fit in the model. So let us go with Amos example. This is the example which we want to discuss for this modification indices. Now in this example, we have three latent variables that is perceived usefulness which is represented as PU, perceived easy of use PE and intention to use the website and each dimension or each construct has its own observed variables. PU has PU1, PU2, PU3. These are three observed variables and perceived easy of use is having four observed variables. Intention to use is also having four observed variables. Now we are going to run this path model. Why we call it as a path model? Because we are trying to understand the impact of PU and PE on IU. Okay, you can see we have added the file here, uh, TAM data set, which are 389 sample size, click OK. And once we calculate estimate, let me calculate estimate. After calculating estimate in the view text, we are going to see the model fit okay now let me calculate the calculate estimate now it is prompting that you need to do a correlation or covariance between these two okay let us do later proceed with the analysis now click on this button which is called as a view the output path diagram now once i click it you can see the standardized estimations like pu is 0.2 and PE is 0.32 impacting IU. So first we will see whether this model, we are saying that perceived usefulness and perceived easy of use impacting intention to use the website or not. So let us click view text button. Now in this view text button, again, we need to click model fit. Now we need to check whether this model is having required criteria to say the model is correct. The first thing is CMIN by DF. This value must be less than 5. Less than 5. We got 3.540. Perfect. It is less than 5. Next is a GF5. This value, this indices should be less than, uh, sorry, greater than 0 0.9. We got 0 0.941, which is greater than 0 0.9. And next is CF5. This value must be greater than 9. We got 0 0.95 one which is more than 0 0.9 the fourth one is rmsea this value must be less than 
0.08 but we got 0.081 so we are not able to meet the required criteria for this root to mean square error approximation now what we will do is we will try to understand where we need to change the model so that the model will become better and gets fitted for the analysis okay for this purpose what you need to do is we need to go to the analysis uh, analysis properties in analysis properties in the output window we have a check button called modification indices this you need to select this we must select when we select only system will recommend the required changes which we can do in the model so that the model will become better so after selecting the check button again close this window and save the model and again calculate the estimate now here proceed with the analysis now click view output now in this view text we can click on modification indices here you can click modification indices once you click this modification indices now system is recommending us a different type of relationship one relationship is a covariance the other one is variance the third one is a regression weights so first let us see covariance in this covariance system is saying they you need to have a covariance between perceived usefulness and perceived easy of use the first one and see the modification indices is given as 70.186 okay so when you are seeing this value you check all the values which is the highest one both you check in variance and covariance and regression also so as much as i can find uh, this is the highest value okay 70.186 is the highest value which we can find so you need to observe the modification indices which is the highest one now here perceived usefulness and perceived easy of use covariance if i do the parameter change will be 0.616 so it is recommending saying that you modify your model by making a covariance between perceived usefulness and perceived easy of use so that the model will get better so now what you'll do we'll close this window we'll go back to the diagram here you click this view the input path diagram okay right now here take this covariance and make a correlation between perceived usefulness and perceived easy of use save the model right and again click calculate estimate now again go to view output diagram and in this view text now we can go to model fit and check all the criteria once again the indices the first one is cmin by df minimum discrepancy it has become 1.728 earlier it was somewhat like 3 right now it is 1.728 which is less than 5 done next is gfi this value must be greater than 0 0.9 we got 0 0.969 wonderful value it is and next is cfi cfi is 0 0.986 which is greater than 0 0.9 and the last one the fourth one is rmsea this value we got now as 0 0.043 this value must be less than 0 0.08 in earlier diagram we got 0 0.081 now it is 0 0.043 which is less than 0 0.08 now you can understand by using modification indices prompt or indication we did the required modification in the model now we got rmsea which is less than 0 0.08 it means the model is now fit to do the estimations to go to estimations and here you study the values now you study all the values here now if the model is not fit these estimations are biased we cannot use it for 
analysis purpose. So first you must make the model fit, then only you can use these estimations, right? In case, I'm saying in case, so after doing one modification indices, still the model is not fit. Then what you need to do? Again, go and ask for the modification indices. What are the other changes I can do? Now you can see the highest MI, that is modification indices values. You need to note the highest modification indices values. Here we got somewhere like 9.711. I think this is the highest one. Right, now this is a correlation between E6 and E7. You can see this one between E6 to E7. If you make a correlation covariance, then the modification indices, the model will become still better. Okay, always you need to know the highest MI that is modification indices value. It even clearly explains so what are the parameter change that is going to happen in the model now for example here it is showing recommending us okay do between uh, e7 to e6 now let us do that change and see now let us go back to the model in the model e6 to e7 you can make again a covariance between e6 to e7 now one important point you must understand here we can do modification to the model. The purpose is to see that the model is fit. Once the model is fit, further we don't need to do change the model. Okay. Now, for example, model is not fit. You are doing one more change. Okay. Again, if the model is fit, that's wonderful. If it is not fit, again, you are going to do one more modification in this system. It's one more change in the model. Like how many times you can go on changing? Actually, there is no limit. But some papers suggest that you can do three modifications only. You must not do more than three modifications. What? Uh, why? Why we must not do more than three? Because we are trying to control the relationship or modify the relationship in order to get the model fit. So uh, it is recommended that always you can use only three times this modification indices. Only three times you are going to use. Please keep this point in view when you are doing this modification indices. And one more important point, when you are doing these covariances, when you are doing this covariances relationship, don't do covariances between the error terms of different constructs. Means don't do between E6 to E3. Why? Because we are expecting that each construct must have its unique properties. That's why they are getting grouped. Like perceived usefulness is a different latent variable and perceived easy of use is a different variable. How can you think that observed variable in one group have a relation with the other group? So in that case, you need to delete the observed variable only. Don't make the relationship. So see that you don't have correlation between the observed variables of different construct. Please keep this point also in view when you are doing this modification indices. Now, what I did, I did a covariance between E6 to E7. Save the model, again, calculate estimate, again, go to view text, uh, this one output in this again, view text. Now, again, you go to modification indices. Actually, these steps are not required because already we got required modification. This model fit we already got, but practice purpose I'm showing again. Now you can see again, CMIN values, GFA values, CFA values, and even RMSCA value. RMSCA value, it was 0 0.41 something. Now it has become 0 0.032, still it became better. So this is how you are going to modify the model with the help of modification indices to make the model better. Now we will discuss about different types of models in the structure equation modeling. We'll have two types of models, measurement model. The other one is structure model. Measurement model is nothing but the relationship between latent variable and the observed variable. For example, you have perceived usefulness, PU. This is a latent variable. And we have these three unobserved variables. We have PU, which is a latent variable. And we have three observed variables, PU1, PU2, PU3. 
the relationship between these observed variables and unobserved variable is called measurement model is called as a measurement model and even for this p also we have a latent variable p and it has four observed variables the relationship between them is called measurement model measurement model is a relationship between observed to unobserved variables right now the relationship between pu to ie that is perceived usefulness impacting intention to use the website this relationship is called as structural model that is called structural model even the relationship between pe to iu that is perceived easy of use impacting intention to use single header arrow we have that relationship is called as a structure model so structure equation modeling is having measurement model and structure model i hope this information will help you to do your research better